Hey guys, Eclipse Fourteen here, and welcome back to Let's Play Shining in the Darkness. All right, so we're almost done with 2F. However, I've been thinking on it, and what I need to do is simply head back. I know my stats are kind of fair, but I'm in the middle of slime, and it's only going to get worse from here. So I have nearly twenty-four thousand gold to spare. So I may as well see what I can do with the. Uh, stuff in Thornwood. So exit, run through here, and see if we can get some stuff taken care of. First things first, I want to go ahead and sell off the crap. The first piece of shit on the line is the smelling salts. Don't need it. Next one out is the smelling salts here, because I don't need it. I can keep the healer fruit because it's basically a heal too, and I can use that. And that's about it. Alright, so next thing I want to do here is craft, well, in this case, repair my fire sword. This way I can have, uh, I can have my place 3 back, so that'll be fixed. And I will back out for now. My fire sword will be back to normal at this point, which is good. Now we're going to go ahead and craft and order myself up a piece of mithril ore. In the drawer, in which case I will make it for Hero. In this case, I'm gonna go for hopefully the armor isn't uh Yikes, 18,000. Um Alright, I can at least use the Mithril Ore. Let's try uh not terrible. Shield is just 10,000. I can do the shield. So we'll do that. Whoops. I'll have it for hero, in which case I have the helm. 9,800. That's fine. So I'll have the uh, Mithril shield and mithril helm set up with my ore in use in replacement of the what I have now. In this case, I have the mithril shield and the mithril helm. And that'll take care of things. Alright, so right now I'm gonna go ahead and actually uh, equip these on Hero, even though uh, they're technically better stuff for everybody else. It's mainly because my current stuff is pretty shitty. So I'll put my Fire Sword back on, Breastplate gets replaced with the... Uh... Breastplate does not get replaced, excuse me. Bronze Shield gets replaced with the Mithril Shield. And the Mithril Helm takes care of that, so my armor factor is a little bit better, and I can get rid of my other crap. So hopefully Hero will be a little better suited. And what he's been dealing with. Armor is 18,000 gold though, which is pretty painful. Anything else I need to get rid of? Uh, not yet. That's how much gold I have now. 2300. Alright, that's not bad. Go ahead and just rest at the taverns in. And we will try for level 3 this time. Going through the labyrinth, this time with all new mithril equipment. 
which should be able to help me a little bit. Here we go. Just run through here, and we gotta backtrack our way through 2F again. Oh well. Orb of Truth. This is a joke at this point. Easy. Straight up easy. Make our way through this direction. And back in through the teleport. Starting off with Cockatoris. Alright, not the worst starting thing, but uh... We still got a ways to go, so hopefully I'll be able to do something within the next 20 minutes. At least Hero will be able to take damage better. At least briefly. There is better stuff coming, which is fine. And, like I guess, um, all that's really left are just a couple chests right near the end of 2F, but they are all guarded by Sentinels, so I actually am not going to hit them just yet, on the purpose of there is a more important chest on 3F that I want to pick up. And that more important chest will be necessary to cover some of the more special areas throughout the rest of Labyrinth proper, including this floor. So yeah, all I'm really doing is just doing a very quick breeze throughout the rest of the entire labyrinth, and hopefully reaching 3F. Oh, that's a lot of sorcerers. Pyrus should be able to kill them in one shot, though. Well, got most of them, anyway. All the other one's doing is defending, and that doesn't mean anything. One step and it's one more sorcerer than what I just faced. Are you serious? See, now that's a little better. Well, I can't really defend against magic there, so. Oh well. So we'll head this way. Just a long, long passage up Brick Eye. Now would be a good time to actually use a little magic. Considering these things still suck ass. Fire Sword. A last level three. I might as well attack. Of course Brick Eye 2 missed. Oh yeah, 13 points of damage. That's a that's a lot better than what I was facing initially. Oh great, paralysis. Okay, so much for uh, making that work out. I guess the fire staff can do something, which is still 40 plus damage, and I can use it again. Really, more brick eyes? Come on, game. I'll just attack. Last level three. Um, I'll just attack here. Or 
150 damage isn't that bad. I can probably just attack this and be done with it. Yep, that'll do it. I'll go ahead and cast a level 2 heal on Pyra. Let's put her back up to over 140. One step encounter for a Bella, great. Honestly, the most important part of all of this is just retaining my MP. Covering my HP is a joke. More than conser conservation of MP. Hey, Pyra hit level 25. Sweet stuff. Keep going, and we get Freeze level 3. Alright, cool. Let's go ahead and head down this direction and go down this long, long passage. Then my lights and my billows stand in my way, and we're at 11 and a half minutes recording. Alright, I figured that'd be the case, but we'll see if we can at least get back to where I was, because all that's left is just a few long straightaways, and that's it. Them with these. These guys all suck because they can do magic attacks. The fire Breath is basically a Blaze 2, and there's also Burst 2 and Blast 2. Speaking of Blast 2. So it's now time to, uh, in this case, level 3. And Pyra can do a level 2 heal, which will work for Milo. One step for a deadhead. Great. This has been a frustrating run, mainly because of how quickly the encounters can show up. It's been a shit show, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm still moving, so progress is still being made. Get on the spinner, and this long passage will take me to the doorway to get me to the second half of this area. I'm just glad I have some mithril equipment now. It's really the only thing of concern. At least some mithril ore. Anyway, moving on. Have all this. More maligators than a deadhead. And there goes the blaze tail. Keep on going, keep on going. I think Pyro will be fine until I get past the doorway. A couple berserkers. I should be able to handle this one. Go. 
Alright, never mind. I'll go ahead and do a heal level 2 on Pyro now. And that should, uh... Alright, that's good. Keep on rolling, and another one of these groups. Another set of brick eyes. Last three. I'll do a blaze three. And there we are! Finally got through here after just over 16 minutes. And I guess the rest of this little run will be just backtracking and going through the long straightaway. If I can hit 3F at the end of this video, that'd be pretty cool. I doubt it though, considering my luck. Bunch of Maligators to start things off here. Yeah, I'm mainly trying to conserve all my magic. Mainly to go through 3F. Because I actually have to go through a good chunk of 3F just to get the one item I need. And I hope I can get it in this one shot without having to go back. But really the goal is simply to get to 3F. Because once you get through that, there will be a cutscene that you can see inside the castle. But I want to take care of the one item before doing that. This way I can get through everything in one sitting, rather than have to walk back after doing such a thing. That's my thought process here. Okay, you're being annoying, game. And I mean that sincerely, you're actually being obnoxious right now. Sixty damage, great. That works for me. Let's continue on this little passage, and finally we're here, and we're at the long passage. I may as well get myself ready in case I have a freaking chrome ball to face, which is a nasty enemy to fight. Can go for upwards of 60 damage per hit, can attack twice in a turn, and overall is an obnoxious shit. Hey, hero hit level 26 as well. Speaking of hero, it might be wise to put up a heal level 2 on him. As well as Milo, which I'll let him use his own magic for. Ah, shit, if I knew that, it was only... Uh, fuck. I should've done level 1 if that was the case. In any case, I am finally back to where I basically started after 19 minutes of recording. Yippee. I don't really regret having to aggress out and getting the mythical equipment though. Hero has been getting really shit on with the damage. He's going straight all the way and death serpents. Oh boy. These are probably worse maligators. Actually they are because they have blaze three instead of blaze two. As their special move. Have fun! They also hit a bit tougher. Yep, speaking of Blaze 3. Yeah, 20 is not that bad. Especially with the mythical equipment. Level 2 heal. Puts you up to 115. Everybody's kind of fun, I guess. It 
finally we reached this section. So straight ahead is a slightly larger room for some reason, but there's nothing of concern. If you go straight, it leads to a puddle that is a dead end, so nothing of use there. In this big room, nothing really of use there either. So we'll just go the short way around each time, and just breeze through it. Knock off with your one-step bullshit. We are pushing 21 minutes though, so I might, uh, I'm gonna have to push it kind of hard. Fortunately, we just passed 10,000 gold, which is good. So turn here, turn here, nothing else is a concern. Camels. These guys can pile up, so take them out first. As you can see, they are pretty annoying. You guys are annoying. Go away. And Milo hits 25, in which case he gains all these stats. That's about it. Alright, heal level 2 time. Featuring exclusively Pyrus healing. be that. Alright, so each of these lefts coming up are all leading to sentinels. Three of them lead to chests, which are the last chests of 2F. I'm skipping all of them because I don't want to be facing sentinels right now, even though some of the uh, I know at least one of the items there is actually pretty good. I just don't want to deal with it because I want to go to 3F and try to cover this one item. If I can get to that in Egris, that is a complete success. I don't really have much hope getting there, though. Especially with all these damn encounters. Like, fucking go away! We're at 23 minutes now. Um, maybe one more encounter and I'll have to cut. Which stinks, but I really don't want to be going over 25 minutes. Take this last left and go through here. Mm, if I can get past that pit at the top, I'm in good shape. Eh, I might make it a little longer and just hit fucking three up. I'm already here, may as well. No, I'm not going to. Get past that pit, and I'm good. Because there's a good chance there's a nasty enemy that drops from it. And speaking of, there he is. The headhunter. I'm getting out of here. And this is where I choose to cut the episode. So, next episode will be 3F. Hopefully we'll get the one item of concern. And that'll be that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.